welcome back to another video. This time we're finally going to be putting in our 72 volt battery. Uh, we got a 72 volt, 24 amp hour battery um, from Electro & Co. And we got our battery lead, which is going to be bumped up to XT90. So we'll be swapping that out from the controller. Um, I'll give you guys some dimensions on the, uh, the battery compartment here. That way you can kind of get an idea of what you might be able to custom order, custom make, uh, even order off of eBay. And um, just a quick disclaimer, I do want to let everyone know this battery is not specifically made to fit in here. So I did have to cut some stuff up and you know, barely squeezed in there. So it's not something I recommend doing, um, but I mean, I can't tell you what to do and you know, nobody can tell me what to do. So this is how I'm going to do it. Um, so let's pretty much get into it. All right, so let's get one last look at the stock battery and compartment. Uh, don't worry about all this wiring up here. That's just all the um, the light kit and everything else. I kind of just got zip tied up in there. Uh, so here we go with the stock battery. Um, I have put the new battery in already, and I'll show you the other side. Um, I'm going to keep these tabs just to keep the, uh, the panel going on clean the way it was before. Um, I'm going to take this cover off and put my new battery leads in. Pretty simple stuff. Can't really mess that up. And I'll show you right over here. Uh, sorry, it's a cloudy, rainy day today, so the lighting's not very good. So what I did was I cut off this tab right here, cut off this tab down here, and cut off this tab down here. Uh, these two are where the, uh, the little Allen bolts go. And this tab right here is where the little plastic piece goes into the rubber grommet. And this one right up here, I just kind of bent that up and out of the way. And then uh, I'll get the tripod set up and show you me, show me shoving it in there so you guys can see how kind of sketchy it is. But at the same time, I'll come over to the battery real quick and show you. So basically, just feeling around I can tell the BMS is right up in here and there's a little bit of a gap right in here so I'm gonna use that and I'll kind of be pushing on this just to get it in there um, but it, it's not pushing on the cells you know it's kind of just uh, pushing down on the casing which is not a big deal in my eyes um, so that's kind of why I was saying uh, disclaimer don't you know don't do this if you're not comfortable with it but, uh, you know, I'm going to shove it in there. I already paid a thousand bucks for it, so cool deal. Let's get the uh, cameras. I'm actually, I'm going to pull this battery out. I'll take a tape measure and I'll show you guys, you know, kind of what I figured would fit in here. So let's do that real quick. So we'll start off by showing you the difference between the battery. So stock battery, you can see we're uh, roughly right under five and a half on the new one. Uh, right at six inches and as far as length we're looking at uh, right under seven inches and then this one we're gonna be right at eight so I guess that would technically be right at seven so we're looking at an inch longer uh, let's look at height height we're looking at you know, five and three quarters and then height on this is gonna be six inches um, so it is quite a bit bigger You know if uh, we go to the side that I haven't cut up yet um, You can see that once you run into this tab, you're only getting about seven and a half um, And then once you go up you'll hit this tab up here and then hit that tab right there So you're probably only gonna get five inches now, I did try to wiggle this thing in here um, But it ends up hitting the bars up here hitting the bar up here um it does fit in here perfectly so we're gonna have just over six and then when you get into the side uh from rail to rail we're looking at eight inches so it does fit in there pretty nicely but when we come over here and we cut off all the tabs now we're gonna have a nice eight inches right where it curves right here um, from the top we're gonna have plenty for six inches and then uh, the one thing you do want to notice is from rail to rail 
Uh, let's see, we got just over six inches, but the taller you go, it tapers off right over here. So you're probably only getting, what was that? Four and a quarter. Uh, so the taller you go and the wider your battery is, it's going to stick out the sides and your cover might not, um, you know, fit on properly. But uh, I'll show you once I get my battery in, it just barely clears, you know, maybe sticks out the side just a tiny bit. Um, on one of the face groups that I'm following, uh, I did see somebody grab one of those triangle batteries for like a mountain bike conversion. And they fit one in there pretty good. Uh, I did notice they cut all the tabs off, including this one up here. So that might be an option for you. Uh, I believe those are like 48 volt. Um, but the reason I went with this battery instead of the ETM kit battery that they make is this is a 24 amp hour. And uh, the one they make specifically to fit in here is a 20 amp hour. So I just wanted that little bit, um, you know, I did some measuring and I figured, you know, I got a grinder, I can cut those tabs off. Uh, I got plenty of zip ties so I can get my cover to fit. So, you know, I decided to send it and, you know, it ended up working out pretty good. So let me get the uh, tripod set up and I'll shove that battery in and show you what I'm talking about. All right, guys, here we go. So again, got all my tabs cut, put this right through. Lean it in at an angle, push it in. Um, it is pushing down on this that I showed earlier, but not hard enough to hurt it. Get my wires out of the way here. Keep these guys out of the way. Push it in at an angle, and that drops right in. And we are good to go. Get these guys out of here. Cool. All right. So what I was meaning, so you can see right in here, it is crunching up against that just a bit. But again, there's still plenty of play in there. Um, so I'm not, you know, pushing up against the cells or anything crazy like that. Uh, you can see the bottom, it fits in that plate just fine. Um, it is a bit of a tight squeeze. Got my wires right here. And then, as you can see, the battery pokes out quite a bit up top. So it is a little bit higher and a little bit wider. So luckily the covers do clear. You can see this side as well. But again, you know, it, it, it kind of took a little bit of a beating getting in here. Um, but it's going to work for now. I'll probably end up, you know, getting some electrical tape and covering up some of the metal bits. And I'll probably put the straps back over it just to keep it, you know, nice and tight in there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I just got to pop my cover off. Uh, where are these guys? Put on my new battery leads. And then uh, hopefully in the next video, we'll get some test strips going and see how much faster this guy is. Get this cover off real quick. Do want to say be careful when you're tightening down these little screws because uh, you will, like what I did over here is I popped one of these off on accident, tighten it down too much. But uh, let's see, everything's unplugged. I'm not gonna shock myself. Let's get these unscrewed. Let's see, there's one off. And then we'll get our positive off. Let's run these through. Don't need these guys no more. I need to pop the controller off to get this through. Might be good to go. All right, 
off with the old and in with the new. So string these up through here. Should probably add that this battery probably wouldn't fit unless I moved the controller up here. So keep that in mind if you do decide to go this route. Um, you're going to be moving that battery or that controller. Put this up in here. Probably get that under here. Alright, let's get it all back together. If you haven't watched my light install uh, video, these extra wires right here are just the battery leads for the light kit. So if you don't got a light kit, don't worry about those wires. Alright, nice and tight. Get our ground on. Okay, and our battery leads are now officially plugged in. So, get our cover back together. The little piece I broke off. Let's just put that right back here like it never happened. Cover back on. Be careful not to pinch anything. Screw those down nice and lightly. Don't go too hard. It is just plastic. You don't want to break them. Boom. Done and done. And there we go. Plug it in. And now let's check out the volt gauge. Flip it on. And let's see, kind of see that, 82.9. So nothing extra needed, just plug in the 72 volt battery with the ETM controller and we are good to go. This thing's got some crazy torque, plenty of top speed. Uh, I did do a little test trip and I hit 40 just going down my little road right here. Uh, didn't get to stretch it out all the way, so I'm assuming I could probably get 45 out of it. Check that out. So I'm gonna put everything back together um, as far as the plastics and the side covers. Um, you probably see me do it a million times if you're watching this or if you're uh, already a subscriber. Um, if you haven't seen me, check out my CRF 50 plastic kit video and you can see how I take everything on and off. Uh, but for now, I'll just jump forward in time, get it all completed and I'll show you how the uh, side covers fit on and you know just how everything looks once it's all put back together. Um, real quick let me show you guys what I did for the charge port. Uh, I did forget to mention in the beginning of the video when you buy the uh, battery you'll get your battery leads, a charge port and a charger with it. Um, so what I did was since I swapped to the CRF 50 plastics I figured I got all this space under the gas tank so I mounted my charge port right there and then if you go under here uh, basically what I did was the bottom part of the gas tank that I cut off I just cut out a little circle and I JB welded it down in here I let it cure um, I took a drill bit that fits this exact size and I just put my charge port right in there so once I get the plastics on basically I'll just string this down through the frame and plug this into my charge port side on the battery and it's good to go. Alright, I'm going to get this put on and uh, we'll probably end the video off after that. Alright, here we go, the finished product. 
as you can see everything goes on pretty much back the way it was uh, let's see right in here you can see there's a tiny little gap where the battery pushes it out uh, but it's honestly it's not even that noticeable fits in there nice and tight it doesn't bounce around got the straps on um, again charge board up there just easy access running at 82.6 and I'm gonna leave this side off for now uh, but basically all I'm gonna do is bend this down um, that way the cover has something to plug into and I'll basically just you can see that little hole right there and then uh, pretty much right here um, I just stick some zip ties in through the hole of the cover and around this and around this. Um, I use reusable zip ties, so there's a little tab you can press to pop them on and off. Um, that way I'm not running through zip ties constantly taking this thing apart. Um, so I do want to note, note that uh, with my light kit, it's supposed to only be for 36 to 48 volts. Um, now the brake light, the running light, and the headlight uh, they seem to be doing just fine, but as soon as I flick the blinker on, uh, it does not like 72 volts. Starts smoking, uh, smells funny, trip me out there for a second. Uh, so if you do end up going with this light kit, I would stick with 48 volts. Um, later on, I'm going to do a DC to DC reducer, and we'll get some real headlights, uh, all 12 volt system going. But for now, this is it. Stay tuned for a new video coming soon. We're going to be doing some wheelies, doing some test trips, uh, see how much range I can get out of it. And um, I'm thinking here in the future I'm going to do a bike check. And I'll go through the list of everything that I've done, all the parts. Um, I'll throw links in the description to uh, save the, the tires. A lot of people ask me where I got them. Um, you know, the kit, the battery. Uh, just about everything I've done so far But that's gonna do it for the 72 volt install. Hope you all enjoyed and until next time peace